Yeah, hey, Julius, can you just take me through um, how you got to the point where, where you decided you wanted to leave uh, Iowa and then how K-State got on your radar? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, things just didn't, didn't work out the way that, uh, that we planned at, uh, at Iowa. So I just went through the process, you know, sat down with my mother and, uh, you know, my supporting cast and uh, just things that I value, what I, what I thought was important. You know, you know, I just went ahead and uh, put things, you know, in God's hand and pulled the trigger. And, you know, now, you know, I'm just extremely blessed, you know, to be here with K-State. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, I just want to give my thanks uh, to Coach Klein and Coach Malone, you know, believing in me, bringing me in here and, uh just looking forward to getting to work. What do you feel like are the biggest strengths that you bring to the table as a corner? Uh, you know, just having that experience, you know, playing at the Big Ten level and, you know, trans transferring over here to the Big 12, you know, being hands-on with guys, you know, seeing a lot of good talent and uh, just more, I would say, the, as the mental aspect of the game. You know, I've been, you know, close games, getting down to the wire, you know, things of that nature. Uh, you know, just using my uh strengths and my ability as well. Uh, you know, having length, uh all the tendons you look in the corner, you know, and uh, I just feel like I possess those, you know, to help us get to that next level, hopefully get us to a big 12 championship. And how many options did, did you have and were you considering and, and what wound up uh landing you here on K State? Uh, I would say I had quite a few options, you know, uh like I said, once again I just set down my mother, things that I valued uh I Heard nothing but great things about Coach Kleiman, Coach Malone, you know, the whole staff here, about who they are, and uh, just the culture. The culture is one of the big main things that uh, I put into perspective. And I want to make my next decision on where I would be finding my next destination. So uh, the culture, I uh, talked to players on the team, former players, you know, things that I would, you know, be getting myself involved in. So it just felt like a great fit, you know. So happy to be here. I'm curious with that. Were there players here or that had played here that you had – previous connections with that you were able to talk to? Uh, none I had previous connections with. You know, some guys may have just got with uh, the things of brewing here and me may possibly come to K-State. So some guys did reach out to me and, uh, you know, just wherever uh, I commit to, uh, you know, K-State is a great place. You know, they would support me and everything. You know, they just gave me a rundown of how things ran here. And, uh, it was definitely uh, good things to hear, things I, that were definitely intriguing. And, uh, you know, now I'm here, so. Very yeah. excited. Cool. I appreciate it, Julius. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, Julius, is, is there one thing that kind of sticks out to you that Coach Plyman or Coach Malone said during this process that really resonated with you and kind of drew you in? Um, I wouldn't say it was one thing in particular that was like just made me pull the trigger. It was just all the things uh, – like I said, like culture, you know, the guys here, you know, guys I would mesh with, uh, you know, in the DB room as well, not just the DB room, on the offensive side as well. I feel like having that commodity and uh, just that bond is very important, you know, to, to take that next that next, that next, next step and get to that next level as a team. So I want to say it was one thing in particular, but just everything combined, it was just a great fit. And then in terms of position, has it all been geared towards corner? Have you heard a little bit about nickel too? Is there any versatility there? Uh, you know, one thing about me, you know, I'm a, I'm a bigger defensive back, so I have a lot of versatility. But, you know, uh, we'll we'll see how it goes, wherever I'm best needed or wherever coach needs me at, where I'm fitted or wherever wherever that is, you know, more to welcome to Vince Ralph. I need to play nickel, safety, corner, wherever. But we just have to see and uh, wherever is best for me to help the team. So when you decided to transfer, what was the top thing that you were looking for in that next school? Maybe maybe the one thing that you were prioritizing over the rest that Kansas State met the mark on? Uh, I would definitely say, you know, the people. And I obviously, uh, you know, what would be my role? You know, obviously you have to work for everything. Nothing is uh, given, everything is earned. So, uh, but definitely uh, what would be my role coming in and uh, the culture, that was that was pretty big for me. Thanks, Julius. Thank you. Anything else for Julius? Okay, go ahead, uh, Fitz. Hey, Julius. Um, how hard is it in these times to come in and, and meet a bunch of new guys when there's really not much social life and you don't even have your face uncovered most of the time? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely uh, – Definitely challenging, you know. I've just been so amped up. I've just been waiting to meet all the guys. You know, we finally had a team meeting, but like you said, we're all social distancing, masks on, and everything of that nature. So uh, it's been a little difficult, you know, to to actually you know meet guys face to face, especially uh, 
everybody's schedules and things of that nature. But uh, like I'm very excited. You know, we started workouts here soon, so having the opportunity, you know, to, you know, to meet the guys and things of that nature is is definitely exciting. So. And I finally get to ask a Big Ten guy this, but going back to the start of the season, when you're looking around and seeing the Big 12 and other conferences revving up to play football and you guys are still on hold and not playing, as a player, what's going through your head? Uh, you know, definitely, you know, a lot of emotions, but, you know, uh, we have to give uh, a lot of thanks to uh, to the medical staff. You know, they've been working just as hard as us, you know, to – all the things, all the work they put in in order for us to even have a season. But it definitely uh, was pretty emotional for a lot of us not having the opportunity at first to, you know, to have our season canceled. But once we got that call, you know, we all were definitely ready and uh, extremely fortunate and uh, thankful for having the opportunity to play. So.